Hello and welcome to another Renee in Cancerland series. Um, sorry I missed last week. Man, that trip home from Michigan really about did me in. I we drove through the night and we drove 22 hours straight and I was exhausted. I was a complete and utter mess. So, um, yeah, I just, I didn't have it in me to give anything more. Um, and so this week I just want to kind of fill y'all in on, sorry, I'm trying to get a good, like, my eyes aren't in the sunlight. Um, oh, and if you'll notice on the wall behind me, people have been asking to see more of my artwork that, yes, is I'll do any of those for you on commission. I can't sell the originals because somebody did ask to buy that one and I was going to sell it, and my son and husband both freaked out. They're like, you can't sell that one, make a new one. So, anywho, yes, I can pretty closely duplicate, but it won't be that original, but it'd be your original. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna kinda go over what has been going on in cancer land these last two weeks because it has been crazy so two weeks ago on monday i went and had my routine ct bone scan and mri and um then I got a call back from Hellerstat saying something had changed on my MRI, so they wanted to start Avastin again. And Avastin, for those new to this game of mine, is a, I would say it's a very light chemo, and it's for my brain and it's to eat away any necrosis that is there and necrosis is a collection of dead cells so it makes my brain swell because well there's extra stuff in it and causes headaches and fatigue and um, all that fun stuff that comes along with a swollen brain so then on Tuesday, I was scheduled for a mammogram and a bone density test. Well, on the mammogram, they found a suspicious spot. I was like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. So um, they wanted to do a needle biopsy. Well then, the needle biopsy was scheduled for Thursday, and then it so happened that my Avastin got approved and was scheduled for Thursday also. So Thursday morning, I went and had chemo and five of my shots because I have to re-get all of my immunization shots from when I was a baby because I have a whole new system and it needs to be immunized. That's not the right word, but you know what I'm saying. So I went and got five shots on top of chemo. And then later that afternoon, mom had to drive me because I was kind of stressing out and I had to take a little bit of anti-stress medicine so my mom drove me to get the boob biopsy which um yeah those hurt I for I forgot how much those hurt um 
I don't know, I guess, because you're get it's kind of like in a mammogram machine and then getting a needle stuck in your boob. So it's a two for one of uh, get off my boob. So that, let's see. So then we left on Friday for our trip up to Michigan. And I got the call on Friday telling me that my boobs good all it's calcifications it's just an aging process and of course I'm like yay I will take aging any day um then we went to Michigan to visit Eric's family had a really good time it was so nice and cool up there compared to here in Austin here in Austin it's like 90 degrees by 8 30 in the morning and there it didn't even get 85 degrees throughout the whole day which was wonderful so then um we drove home well we were there for six or seven days then we drove home all in one day another 22 hour trip and i have told my husband and we say this every year, we are never driving all in one day again. And every year we do it. Next year, we are not doing it. No, we're stopping in a hotel or we're flying. I don't care, we'll figure it out. So we get back Monday. I am just, I think I slept for like 14 to 17 hours straight not straight i mean i got up and ate a little and then went back to sleep tuesday i recovered more and um then like my leg my right leg started feeling super heavy again and then my right arm kind of started feeling heavy and you know my leg i'm fine with because I'm used to it and I know when I'm tired it gets heavier but then when it changes to my arm it freaks me out and da, da, da. so then um, of course I call Dr. H and of course she's like go get scanned so they couldn't get me in for a brain MRI and she also did a spinal MRI ordered that but I couldn't get in till Friday afternoon at 4 so I have waited all weekend for these results and I'm really hoping they come in early this morning because yeah I just I just want to know and you know if I need another round of Avastin sooner rather than later cool let's do it but um yeah that's kind of where i'm at so i will openly ask for prayers from y'all um hoping it's just necrosis you know that my new immune system is going wild on this weird thing in my brain and thinking um we need to attack it and get it out of here but it's just necrosis so yeah I would take prayers from y'all for that and I hope let's see I think that's it that's my update for this week I'm working on a website working it let me tell you that is not my cup of tea and I have been asked to do a very exciting project I it's still under wraps and in the works so I can't really tell you about it but I'm very excited and I will tell you as soon as I can and I think that's it so anyways if you want to follow me I am on Facebook at Renee N Cancerland and that's I N like Renee N Cancerland and I am also on Instagram same same name Renee in Cancerland and um, obviously you found me on YouTube so yay 
Uh, and last thing, I am going to start trying to remember to actively ask you guys to share my channel with others who you think would find inspiration and find help out of it as well. So I think that's all I have today, but I hope you all have a beautiful week and I will of course keep everybody updated on this whole brain situation. So until then, I'll talk to y'all next week. Bye.